One, two. Podcast. Here again with another episode. You are joined by myself, Ola. And Anton. The Anton. one that loves to cause trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how we should start introducing ourselves, just like by our kind of characteristic trouble and bubble. I'm the one that's always asking all the the questions, the annoying questions. Everyone relates to Ola. I'm just that one that's like, yeah, but how about if it was like this? I wouldn't say everyone relates to me though. No, nah? no, no, nah, not always, not always. Uh, you know, there was, you know, not always, man. Yeah, not always. Uh, I think yeah, it depends on topic and episode, isn't it? Depends really? who's got the fire. Yeah, depends who's 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 kind of come with the heat. So, all right, this episode's all about double dates. Ooh. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. It doesn't, it's an interesting <laughs> one because it does, it, it usually happens once you're in a relationship. Yeah. And it usually happens because your partner and her friend's been talking and they want to do something, but they're both <laughs> in relationships. And they're like, oh, yeah, my man will come too, or girlfriend, <laughs> or whoever you want to label your partner. And you know, y- y- you turn up and you have to smile and wave and enjoy the moment. And then I feel like there's this aspect that happens mm. where each couple is secretly competing with each other to see yeah. who's the most romantic. Mm-hmm. You know, you touch their shoulder. He's like, rah, I've got to touch her bum. <laughs> <laughs> it just escalates. It just escalates. It just escalates. But yeah, today's episode is all about double dating. <laughs> We're both going to explore <laughs> <laughs> and chat about whether we've been on double dates. I thought about it. Ola's feeling a bit hot and sweaty. I ain't hot. I'm calm. Um, I'm cool and collected. <laughs> have you been on a double date before? You know what? I actually, I've never been on a double date. And I'm glad. Because Why are you glad? No, you mentioned, you mentioned that point about the whole competition aspect and... I used to kind of see it in movies and stuff where, like you said, people go on double dates. One guy will order bread. Yeah, touching, touching ass might be extreme. I apologize for that. For yeah, boy. Listening. One guy <laughs> orders basic harvest bread. One guy orders sourdough. Oh it yeah. just kind of escalates. Levels. One guy does chicken wings. The other one does chicken breast. Doing the most. Just, you know, it just kind of escalates. I'm like, you're doing too much kind of thing. And in past relationships, it's been mentioned. But I've always kind of been like, I'm good. Well, so what, they've just been outright saying we should go on a double it's date? Been, or it's, been, as it, it's been mentioned sort of like an idea, like, oh, what do you think of, would you ever dates? go on? I'm like, um, I'm good, I'm all right, yeah, kind yeah. of thing. I guess for me, the aspect of a, an actual date is we go out, build that bond, communicate, how have you been, how have I been, discuss, connect. But then the concept of a double date just seems like... But it usually happens once you're in the relationship. Yeah, so once you're in the relationship... I don't know about... If it should happen outside of the relationship. No, no, I'm not talking about outside of the relationship. I'm just kind of talking. I'm like... Because you know each other. I'm like, yeah, I'm like... I, for me, I don't mind us all hanging out. But an actual... Just hanging out as you would with friends is standard. I'm like, we can do that. Yeah. But yeah. I guess maybe it's the label. Maybe it's the label and the concept of me and my partner, my boy and his partner coming together. Because again, I think it's also that comparison aspect. I'm so thinking apart from about the competition, the up. The dressing up. Yeah. Well, like, you'd come coordinated. No, nah, you could do, but I'm thinking you're going out for a nice meal. Mm. It just puts that pressure on you. It's the pressure. Like, oh, I was going to wear jeans and a jumper. And, and you know your boy. Be, he's going to go You know in. he's on the gram. You see him on the oh, gram and you just look man. at And him. he's always <laughs> extra. 3,000 <laughs> likes. Yeah. Hello, comment. And it's kind of like, but, but for me, it's the aspect of, um, it's a comparison aspect. Again, it relates to the competition. Oh, well, Mike did this. I'm like, do you reckon that matters? Mike's, Mike's been cheating on his girl. Don't <laughs> worry, don't worry about Mike. Let's worry about us. Wow, D- that's what I'm saying. Like, do you know what I mean? It, yeah. It beca- but again, I think it depends on who you go on that double date with. I was gonna say because like, is the competition with you and your boy, or whoever their their partner is, your mm. friend's partner, or is the competition a mental thing where you're thinking your partner might get jealous at the way that their relationship is or the way they are together? I guess I think it would be it would be a combination. But I think it would depend. So in is so it really a competition? This is the thing. This is where it gets interesting. I think it's subjective on who the double date is with. Because yeah. I've like one of my boys don't want to bait his name out. I'll just call him Dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Say him. He the type of guy who he would do it out of banter and be extra. <laughs> like say I spend sixty, he will spend. 100 or something yeah you know what i mean if i do a little peck on the cheek he would do if i do a peck on the hand he would do a peck on the cheek twice four times to, uh, do you know what i mean he'll be that guy kind of thing and it's like what are you doing brother it's <laughs> banterful and i'm like all right, cool because it's all banner and it's yeah, all love yeah, yeah. and we're, we're kind of playing 
competitively, but if we're playing ultimately. Um, but then you've got the other guy who's just, he's serious. He's just trying to pam everyone's girl. And he knows that he might be really good at whatever else. He's, he's, he's got that sauce. And so he's putting the sauce on everyone sort of thing. Yeah. But then you have got cases where I've seen female friends go on double dates and they're just like, he does that. You don't do that. And I'm like, how can you compare your man to this guy? They're different people yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And you're seeing one aspect of this date or Best this double date. Forward. That's the thing. That's yeah. what I was going to get to you. And it's like, with a date in general and with a double date, people forget that you're putting your best foot forward. you got the, you got your banging weave on, that 32 inch. It's all out there. Ah. you got the new clothes from ASOS, Boohoo, Boohoo. looking all good. The makeup is on point. Yeah. Fenty. Fenty. All you that, that good stuff. On. Come on. Yeah. You got you got the doughy. Do you know about the doughy? Oh, she's just naturally beautiful. Do you know about the doughy look? No, 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 no. Oh, no. got the natural, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Got the natural beauty. You got the doughy look. Whatever it is, you've come up looking, mwah, looking delicious. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. You stepped out <laughs> and it's like, can I speak to you? <laughs> look at how they are kind of thing. And it's kind of like, but this is not them on a the day to day. This is that yeah. once in a two, three month period where they've actually made an effort to come out look good and they want to enjoy themselves so you haven't been on a double date no nah, i actually if, haven't if if it's presented to you you get a call later on tonight yeah and just hi boys how's it going <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so i know we're meeting up on saturday mm-hmm. but uh we're gonna go out with let's use <laughs> names karen <laughs> karen and, and <laughs> keith <laughs> karen and keith <laughs> What's your reaction? You're like, oh, why? Or are you gonna be like, yeah, that sounds great. No, I'd be. I think if I've if I've met you either met one them. of them, never met them. Ah. You know of them. You know of Karen. It's kind of risky. I think I'd be up for it. Yeah. I'd be more convinced and more down if I know both of them and I've met them, and I'm like, okay, yeah, they're cool. Yeah. But if me and my girl haven't been on a date in a while, and it's like, let's go on this first date in a long time. And let's introduce these to other people. Uh, but I'm the type of person. I'd have a lot. I'd have look. If there's any mad energy or anything, I've I got stuff to say. Or I'm just going. Do you reckon? Yeah. Imagine. Uh, I didn't come if I look. I came here to eat, yeah, and the people yeah. are talking to me about Pythagoras, whatever. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. Well, what's going on? So you're not gonna smile, smile, and be like, no, no, oh, no, no, so no, great. no, oh, no, no, bro. I'd be. There'd be love and energy. But I'm saying, if I'd come and it's just like this random guy trying to compete with me. You only got your girl one glass how of wine. No, no, but how about if they're boring and just dull? Oh, boy. Yeah, so. I want to date with my girl, innit? <laughs> we're just, we're just, we're just but sharing. she's talking to her girl. We're sharing the table. But she's talking to her friend. Oh, what, you mean the guy's boring? Yeah. There's, there's nothing I can do. Because I feel like that's what's going to happen in terms of, like, you sit down. You say you go out for a meal. Yeah. You know, you're sitting at a table. Yeah. Her friend is just chatting They away. know each other, so it's natural. And yeah, you're me like, and this guy's awkward. I think for me, I'd obviously... Keith, uh, what do you do? Oh, well, uh, I'm actually unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unemployed? Uh, uh, yeah, I just watch Jeremy Cole. Uh, what about you? Jeremy oh, Cole's okay. not on anymore, but, yeah. you know... I uh, watch reruns of old I, episodes I, I've on got YouTube. It saved on Sky Plus. So. <laughs> 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 I bet you know this guy. This guy's real, isn't he? was in. <laughs> but no, you know what? I think... I try, man. I try to find common ground. Yeah, but obviously, yeah. you know, some Searching. people just... Yeah, if yeah. it's dead, there's, what can I do in it? Like, you try... You're not going to whisper in your your missus ear and be like, babe, so what time we plan to go home? Now, do you, me, I just... I'll eat my food. I'm just there. My concentration's on my food. I'm doing me. So babe, you're why f- are you talking to... I try these. Look, listen, we... Boy. Real. Like, we try. You're going to say that at the table? You're going to speak to... No, you know you know when you know your partner, you just give them that look. You know there's certain looks that you she don't need knows. to say. Or with, when you're with your boys, you ain't got to say that. It's just that... <laughs> mm. this, uh, this, this drink is good sip of, tea. That, that look that they just know that oh, okay. yeah. how would you know mm, you already mm. know that what yeah. night kind of thing yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean so I think for me it's more the vibe and the energy Can but again I? ultimately I try so yeah. I'm not going to go there and just be dead and not give any effort I think it's thing. important for integration yeah. in a sense of it's going to be you and your partner but mm. then eventually as time goes on it's her family, your family, but yeah. then also it's if you live together, it's her friend, your friends. That's the thing. You just want everyone to this. I, I want to say get along, but just be civil, you know. Everyone cool with each yeah, other. Yeah. Conversate. 
sorry, not conversate, converse. <laughs> um, yeah, be like you said, be yeah. chill. Just have that. Hey, you doing? You have that good energy, in it. Yeah, I remember I saw you at Christmas. How's things going? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like low energy, kind of. Yeah, it's all good. It's all love, and I think it happens in stages, though. Like I think once you kind of get in and you're settled into a relationship of a certain period, you start introducing. Okay, this is the bestie. Yeah. yeah. These are my close boys. These are the calm ones. Now let me introduce you to the crazy brother. This is him. This is kind of what. Oh, so this is the one that. You mentioned him. This is the guy that got you arrested, yeah? This the one that Imagine. Okay. Imagine. Because, you know, sometimes um, there's some information that shouldn't really be chat too much. So your partner's told you something mm. about her friend yeah. and her partner yeah. and their relationship. Yeah. And you casually say something like, oh, yeah, so Ooh. is this the one that slipped up in the bedroom? And oh, is this the one that gave her that STD? Oh, that's right. Oh, ooh, I was like, ooh. Because that happens. Some people just forget where they are. <laughs> Yo. They just forget. They just be at the table like, yeah, da, 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 and the conversation could be on STDs. That. That's actually crazy. And be crazy. like, hold up. You're Keith. <laughs> <laughs> STD Kiva. Uh, <laughs> nicknames and all sorts. Oh, flaccid Keith. Oi. <laughs> oh, that's one mad. minute Keith. <laughs> oh, that, no, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That probably happens a Why lot. Why do you keep on saying one what? minute? What? <laughs> what's he talking about? What's he, what's he talking about, babe? What, what have you been saying, man? What have you been saying about, man? Big man Keith. I swear um, Kevin Hart's got like one of those, um, I forgot which one it is. Probably second. Um, comedy show where he was like at the table and they had that argument and sh- sh- it was something like oh would you say about you eat my ass or something like that oh. <laughs> eat my ass type <laughs> guy like, like oh just that awkward wait a, w- w- wait wait a minute w- Becky what what happens when the oh other couple man. argue at the table do you just let them be do you just turn around <laughs> and be like hey babe so um, how's your food <laughs> Stay you out know of what? It, yeah, I, I, I stay out of it, man. Okay. It's just that awkward, like, you know what? It's not my place. That's, that's I don't know you guys that well. It's your relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you are. How about if they're wild? Like, just how wild? Crazy, how wild? Just loud. Like, like, arguing, you mean? Nah, just like crazy wild. Just Boy. They're made for each other, but you and your partner. Just not just made for us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, how are you friends with her? Yeah, again, I think that would be my thing, kind of. But the thing is, before that, mm. I try. you try and gauge, innit? Yeah. You try and gauge the type of person that they are. And I feel you can usually get a sense of that based on what your partner will say about this friend, based on the interactions they have. Sometimes if you can hear them from the telephone when they're upstairs and you're downstairs, you just you can't you know, you kinda get those yeah, hints yeah, yeah. from that and then it's like, Okay, cool, how do we navigate this? We could take them to a loud bar, <laughs> then they fit in perfectly, it's all good. <laughs> Maybe not take them to the library or somewhere quiet. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like I guess you'd you'd navigate based on what you're dealing with, isn't it? It's just kind of like subjective to that sort of thing. Have you have you ever been on a double date? I have. Yeah, um, man's nodding. He's got that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I remember for the longest time, I thought I wouldn't go on a, a double date because I didn't see how logistically it happens. Because in I what sense? What do you mean? I, like? I find it so foreign to know that people go, "Oh yeah, we're going on a double date." Just casually say it. Yeah, because like. If someone was just like, we're going on a double date, I'm like, for what reason? Yeah, yeah. Well, why? Yeah, why? What's the, what's the, yeah. Why? Unless it's something where you need four people, I don't understand <laughs> why we're going on a double date. <laughs> uh, but like the way my one happened was more of a me and my boy. Mm-hmm. It was kind of driven by man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, man, it's yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. It was like, we was like, oh, can we um, go indoor skydiving? Okay. Recent. That's an activity. That's a vibe. Yeah, I get that. And he's married. Yeah. So he was saying, "Oh, I'm gonna bring my wife." Wifey, yeah. And I'm sitting here going, "Well, <laughs> who am I gonna bring? Like, <laughs> twiddle my fingers, <laughs> twiddle my thumbs." <laughs> and I was like, "Can I bring a plus one?" He was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah. But I guess it's better that way though, because would you want to be a third wheel? No, so that's why I bought no, my plus yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Man's there with his wife. You're just there like... Mm. Wife. We're not even talking about girlfriend. <laughs> wife. <laughs> like, oh, this is great. And I, no, I didn't want to be amazing. the major third And there's world. Anton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. So um, there's the four of us and we're driving up. Mm. So now we're sitting in the car. So there's me in the front and I'm with my plus one. And then you've got the married couple at the back. 
And I'm, as I'm driving, I'm thinking, how how did I get here? Like, <laughs> was it awkward in the car? It wasn't even awkward, but it was just the uh, you know when you have like an out of body experience, <laughs> and you, you you fully come out of your your, your body and you look, and you're like, what are you doing, brother? At what point? Did this happen? Like how did we get here, my how, brother? How, how did we get here? You look like a family man right now. You look, you know, four by four, <laughs> and you're driving. I said the four. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? How did this happen? Like, seriously, this is <laughs> what was going on. And then throughout the whole thing, there's little things that's happening. And my my boy is getting excited. He's yeah. enjoying the vibe because, yeah, like, look. he's he's married, and it's like that kind of nice relationship where they do mm. things together. Like, they enjoy being in each other's space. Mm. So he's like, "Raw, this is a vibe. I can be here with my boy." Mm. My wife lives here, so I don't really need to ask permission too much. And he's mm. just like, hmm. And he was like, hey, Aaron, I'm enjoying this. We should do this more often. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Apparently, my eyes popped out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> now, Anton, you're right. You <laughs> got something. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> no, no, it's popping it back in. Um, and I'll... For, Inside, I felt like I handled that car because mm. I, I didn't have no major issues with it. Yeah. I just felt like we was all moving too fast. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, well, <laughs> let's at least let's get there first. <laughs> let's get there first. And um, I, I think initially, the reason why I'm, I probably had that kind of initial reaction is simply based on the fact that um, these are instead of it just being me and my boy, mm. there's four people now mm. like in the mix, and we're almost bringing two new people together yeah and we're trying to say oh you gotta match our friendship you two gotta get on is that what it is though that's that's what, what my thought that, process okay, was yeah, it yeah. was like but i don't know how his wife is feeling towards me yeah because it, it's like the, there's a the relationship doesn't just expand from me to my friend mm. it's his wife does she like the person i'm with and does she like me yeah does she want to spend another day with me yeah. and the plus one like it's mad it's a lot to kind of think about when you think about all the sort of connections and the uh, interactions that are involved Could and be. how smooth things kind of have to be i guess you wouldn't say have to be but yeah, for yeah, things yeah. to go smoothly there has to be that interaction between all these four people you've got four different personalities people deal with each other differently some are more in extroverted some are more introverted it's not easy it's not an easy thing, and I mean, obviously, this one, I guess, it's calm. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, it was calm, like yeah, and like it's good in that sense where things kind of go smoothly, but that isn't even always the case. It's <laughs> kind of thing. But I, I completely agree with you on that point of my. Or I'm on. I'm of, I'm of the mindset of, wait, why? Like, wh why? <laughs> where, where, where we go? Like, why? After that experience, I, I would do it again. Oh, you do it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was actually real? a vibe. Okay, it was actually a vibe. But was it, it more banterish or was, was there that, that competitive aspect? Was it all like no, nice it was all just, love? It was just you do your thing, I do yeah, my yeah. thing, and I think it's I think it's different because it was my my friend, yeah. right? Mm. But so I, I'm sure if it was if the other way around, if it was the women, you think it would be different? I'd be like, ah, oh. because I might not necessarily get on with the guy. Yeah, and I always think that in life you're gonna be in moments like this where. You're going to be forced into these situations, yeah. or not forced, you're going to be in these situations, and you're going to have to get along, just yeah. for the sake of everyone. Because yes. I think about it in terms of your little kid, Yeah, I'm going to give him a new name, uh, my name's Sean. <laughs> Sean Nepal. <laughs> he's, he's made friends with Jack, Yeah, and now Sean wants to go around Jack's house, but you have to drop him off. And then, you know, you knock on the door and Jack's dad's there. Yeah. And he's like, you want Olo? Yeah, man, yeah, that's all good. That's all good. I've, I've, Do you, you want to come in? In recent years, I guess I've learned the importance of that. I don't want to say those awkward moments, but those not so comfortable moments or moments outside of our comfort zone. So, well, you know, when you have to interact with people you wouldn't normally interact with. So that person. For life. For a long time. Do you for know what I mean? Life. I think, but I think there's a skill in that. I think there's a skill in because for for me, I learned it at networking events. Yeah, I'm used to my kind of circle of people, conversations, interactions. I'm used to. It. I know what I get from this person. I know what I get from Anton and all these other people. Throw me into a new environment where I do not know anyone here. I've never met anyone before, and at first it was like I'm the guy in the corner, not speaking to anyone, not because yeah. I don't want to, 
but I don't know these people. I'm not comfortable. I'm outside my circle of confidence and sorry, circle of um comfort, and I'm in a position where I have to speak to these people, and you learn a valuable skill. So in those situations where I'm talking to what's it, Sean's dad or whoever it is, Jack's dad. We're having Jack's dad. We're having these <laughs> conversations about football or the weather or whatever it is, and it's not as awkward as it used to be. For me, it's a skill. Yeah, like it's not an easily developed school but I think it definitely has its value one thing I witnessed yeah I say this was like probably I'm going to call it four months ago mm. I was walking from the station and it was like 3.30 mm. so the school just finished so there was one guy walking around with his daughter and then behind him was a guy walking around with his son okay now the son screaming out the daughter's name blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and they end up playing with each other okay. so both dads are just there yeah. but they're not chatting to each other so they're oh, walking down the road yeah. one guy is just like <laughs> looking all over the place whistling and the other guy picked up his phone and he's slowly walking and no. they're not interacting with each other but the kids are having fun Dog. and I was like That's awkward, that man. is potentially the future were you, were you behind when you seen it? Were you just I was walking in the opposite direction. Okay. So I saw it for a good two minutes. I was yeah. like, wow. That's all, yeah. Okay, but in that situation, would you not at least make an effort? I'd make an effort. I feel like they've done so many times, but... I oh, think they've probably met before. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. ah, that's John. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah cool. It's the situation. Yeah, it's true. You're walking home every single day. Mm. Your kids go to like, primary school for six years. <laughs> 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 Birthdays, <laughs> Christmas parties, summer football tournaments. They just want to play. Kids want to play after school. Right. Eh? And you just want to drag your child, but you're like, oh. Okay. To you, that's ops, but to, to the kids, that's that's the best oh, friend. I was like, wow. Oh, that is awful. That's how it can be. That's actually awkward, you know? That's actually I felt fully awkward, awkward. But I'm sure they're just, like you said, they might have just got used to it. Just tried it. Just be like, you know, there's no common ground. Let's not force it. <laughs> well, the kids be friends, but let's not force yeah. it. Hey, Jimmy? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Mad. Yeah, yeah. Mad, 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 oh, yeah, mad. That is crazy, man. Double dates. What yeah. a concept. I like it. What a concept. I like it now. I'm a reformer. Man. Man. <laughs> re- but that's because I, I drove it. But like yeah. we'll wait until I go on a, a double date where, you know, my future partner is the one that's like deciding where we're going and okay. places like that. Double date pending, yeah? Yeah. No, like no, no, I don't want to put pending. I don't want to put that out in the universe. All right. right. But if it did happen. <laughs> but if it did. But hey. Then I guess I've got to be ready for it. you got to be ready for that one. No, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely it's got to be fun that. though. Yes, it's got to be activities. I think that's the, that's the important element of it. That fun, yeah. activity-based thing. If you get four people to compete or just have fun, not even compete. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I like that, man. I've been yeah, on that one. Yeah, yeah. Bring that one to a close. But yeah, double dates. What are your thoughts on double dates? Have you been on a double date? If you have, we'd love to hear your story. What are your do's and don'ts on double dates? Uh-huh. Any, I want to hear stories, man. I want to hear like crazy double date stories. So if you have, I want to see that long tweet. Oh man, or them, or th- or that DM, I wanna see a or that email. I want to see a thread with hella retweets. So if you've been in that situation, you can reach out to us at info at tagmepodcast.co.uk. You can find us on social platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to us. Let us know your thoughts. And once again, thanks for listening, guys. And also, by November, we're going to come off SoundCloud. So uh, we're going to be on other podcast platforms, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the other major podcast platforms out there. So if you are listening on SoundCloud, make that move now. Head over to Spotify or even go to our Instagram, and there should be a link there or even on our Twitter. And it should also show you all the other relevant links for you. So that's it for Tangling Podcast.